My name is Chase Bryan, and it's really fantastic to see you all here today at this forum which is focusing on the global food crisis. We all have food, but do we all get it? The One Just World series is sponsored by the Australian Government's International Development Agency, AusAid, in partnership with the International Women's Development Agency and World Vision Australia. These organisations are joined by a university partner in each city, and in this case in Geelong, we are joined by the Alfred Deakin Institute. Before we go on, I want to acknowledge the traditional owners on the land on which we stand and pay tribute and respects to the elders past and present. The point of these One Just World forums is to get people thinking and talking about the important issues to do with global poverty and development. We want to give you the opportunity to get involved, to listen and to talk to people who are directly involved in development. We want you to ask questions, make suggestions and learn about how you can take action. The important thing for you to know and remember as high school students is that together you can all make a difference and we can create a global change. So today we are focusing on food, or rather for the world's poor, the lack of food. And we will also consider what we can do to help solve this problem. In Australia, I'm sure you've all noticed that the rising cost of food over the last few years has made it a bit harder for us to go out and eat so often. It's, you know, it's made our shopping bills a little bit more expensive and we're feeling the pinch a bit. But in poor countries, food is often literally a life and death issue. Currently, this year, there are more than 900 million people who do not get enough regular healthy food and therefore feel hungry every day. Up to 2 billion people, that's 100 times Australia's population, don't know where their next meal is coming from. And there are two major problems which are contributing to this issue. The first is that access to food is unevenly distributed across the world. So, for example, in places like Australia, we have compost bins full of waste, full of leftovers. Whereas in sub-Saharan Africa, they go hungry. So it's like here in Australia, we have too much food while others have almost nothing. The other issue is that the demand for food globally is increasing due to factors like population growth, whilst at the same time, the supply of food is decreasing due to factors like drought, climate change, and the increasing production of biofuels. So the questions I want you to have in your minds today are, why doesn't everyone get enough to eat? What effects does this have on people and on communities? What are the links between hunger, poverty, health, technology, how food is grown, education, the climate conflict, and the inequality between men and women, boys and girls? The big question, the really big question I want you to keep in your head is what can we do about this? Our government, through its international development arm, AusAid, is very aware of the global food issues. And this awareness has been driven by last year's global food price spike and also by climate change. Today, this forum is an opportunity for you to become aware. Our speakers, Daisy Gardner and Jesse Poulton, will talk to you today about these issues and how we can best help people and communities who find themselves in this desperate situation. After Jesse finish, after, sorry, Daisy and Jesse finish, you are welcome to ask questions and make comments and tell us what you think. So let's get into it. Daisy is the Advocacy Officer on Economic Justice, Justice at Oxfam Australia. The current work is helping to create public awareness about how poor people around the world are affected by the rising cost of food. Over the past four years, Daisy has supported women workers in Australia and Asia who make the clothes that we wear in their quest to receive fair wages and conditions and to be treated humanely. Everyone, please give Daisy a very warm welcome.